my faith first relies on, is in God. And then with that comes a confidence, knowing that you can be successful when you play with guys like we have on this team. Uh, you look at what Dirk was able to accomplish this postseason. Uh, he played like none other. The year he won MVP doesn't even compare to what he did this year in the postseason. All the critics talked about what he couldn't do, where he fell short. But to carry this team the way he's done is it, just phenomenal. I'm just happy to be a part of it. You've been on a few teams for a few years in this league. Uh, what set this one apart and able to win a championship? Uh, I think adversity. You know, uh, we got off to a great start uh, in the beginning of the season. Dirk was playing, if not uh, at an MVP uh, type um, season. And, and then we lose Karan and Dirk. And so uh, everybody wrote us off, but, but ourselves. I think uh, going through that period where we lost six in a row and looked at each other and said, we got to find a way because those two aren't coming back anytime soon. And guys stepped up and we, and we turned it around. And I think uh, just going through the journey of those injuries uh, made us a better team because we had to you know, do a lineup change and then we do the lineup change during the finals and we didn't skip a beat. We just kept playing. And uh, you know, that just shows the character of this team. Um, no matter how old you are, you know, we understood how to play the game um, you know, by passing the ball and making sure that we didn't take you know, shots where three or four guys are on you. We just made the extra pass and we didn't care who put the ball in the basket. Well, going in, we never used 05, 06 as a motivating factor. Two different, totally different teams. I mean, you look at the, what we did uh, along the way, along our journey, uh, getting past Portland. Nobody said we could. Uh, doing what we did to the Lakers. Uh, you know, we just continued to grind it out, believe in each other, and show huge resiliency uh, in every time we stepped on the court. And I thought in this series, there was a time and a situation where there was a turning point. That was in game two. Down 15, we all looked at each other. And we continue to believe. And uh, we win that game, and the rest is history. You know, I, it's not real right now because of just the battles against the heat and understanding uh, the journey. It was, it's been a long journey for 17 years. And I thought I would, had the opportunity in 03 to win a championship. And I was on the other end. We lost to the Spurs. But, you know, this my teammates, their character and their will to come every day and work to get better. Um, you know, they, they deserve all the credit. And so um, and I'm just happy to be at the right place at the right time. Jet, Coach Carlisle was in here a while ago, and he was talking about how one team played in the air and the other team played <laughs> on the ground. And just how fascinated everyone seems to be with how LeBron and Dwayne fly up into the rafters. But people don't really understand how great Dirk Nowitzki is. What do you understand about Dirk? Well, Dirk has huge resolve. Uh, regardless of what people say about him, he's going to come to the gym every day and prepare the same way. He's been doing it for so long, uh, and he still doesn't get the credit he deserves. Uh, what he's able to do at his size, at his height, you haven't seen this before. Uh, the way he shoots the ball, the way he gets the shot off. But what set him apart from all those other years he made his teammates better. When we look back on this whole entire year and what we've accomplished, you're going to look at Dirk Nowitzki's performance, you're going to look at the numbers, but what he meant to Sean Marion, to Tyson Chandler, to myself, to Jason Kidd, to J.J. Barrera, making us raise our level to another level. That's when you have a superstar, and that's when you have a Hall of Famer.